this is not a surprise, Zach. You and I both know that. Uh, it was probably hastened by the pandemic when they went to that situation where they were playing half their games down there and half of their games here. The players didn't stay here. They weren't able to do as many things actively in the community here. It was going to happen. Dean Pantazzi stopped by the 21 Alive studio Monday afternoon to weigh in on the big shift in our local basketball scene. The Mad Ants have played their final game in Fort Wayne. The team set to move to a new arena getting built in Noblesville. Suddenly, abruptly, the Summit City loses a piece of its sports landscape. It was a great run and, and uh, just, you know, so thankful for it all. Jeff Potter brought the Mad Ants to Fort Wayne in 2007. The founder sold his team to the Pacers in 2015, but he's still emotionally impacted by Monday's news. He's not surprised, though, the move to Noblesville follows a trend throughout pro basketball. And I'm sure the Pacers have, have their reasons, but I, I just think if you look at the league overall, you'll see more and more teams trying to get their G League team closer. Last month, the Magic announced that they were moving their G League team from Lakeland, which I think is about an hour away, to uh, Kissimmee, about 20 miles or so away. Portland's new G League team uh, that they're going to be getting will be playing at the University of Portland. So proximity, I think, was a factor as well. Dean Pantazzi shares his take, noticing a disconnect between this team and the Summit City over recent years. The previous ownership, and actually this ownership early on, before it became what it is now, uh, the players were active in the community. And I know they've tried to do that, but it's just not happened. And when you don't get active in the community, it does not the same. Although the local ties may have loosened, Pantazzi says Fort Wayne will notice this change. Pro basketball has been here for the better part of 25 or 30 years, so people got used to it, and first with the Fury, then with the Mad Ants, now that's gone. The sudden departure leaves local fans with no proper send-off, just memories, moments in time, none greater than the team's D-League championship back in 2014. It was the definition of a labor of love and just you know, the basketball was great, the championship was great, you know, all the things we did was great, but just all the people that you're, you, you, you get close to. The team will play one more season as the Mad Ants with every home game in Indianapolis. After that, the franchise will adopt a new name for its move to Noblesville in 2024.